So here we are out in the flying field. I was having problems with my, the throttle stick on my transmitter. It wasn't calibrating low enough, so I've changed the Radio Master TX16S. Changed the setup into the Ranger G2. I did fly with the uh, Ag Wagon, and it went pretty well this morning. Uh, but there was a bit too much wind, and uh, I had the Ag Wagon set up pretty aggressively with pretty high throws. So. Uh, although it went well, when I flicked it into return to home, it was a little bit overactive. Uh, so I thought I'd try something with a bit more mild setup. And this Ranger G2, this Ranger G2 will be perfect. Very easy sw switch over once I had it set up. Um, really just very much plug and play it was great just had to get the throws in the correct direction and all was good okay we've got recording we've got five satellites we'll just go for a, a, a test flight first and then we'll um, do some proper FPV so that number there is the heading and that number there is the direction to home or the angle angle to home basically couldn't work that out before, but... Okay, we're good to go. Okay, here we go. Pretty dull light, but... Uh, quick test flight anyway. Oh, this is a nice plane. Alright, so we're in gyro off mode so this is just lovely smooth flying around much better with less wind and less throws okay gyro mode nicely stabilized against the wind that's great try uh, stabilize mode now this is the self-leveling mode look at that nicely self-leveling oh that's a nice stabilized mode now this is working the way it should acro mode let's get up a little bit higher and do a return to home I'm using the same receiver and uh, setup as the I had on the Ag Wagon. Notice you do have to use the rudder when you're in uh, gyro mode. Okay, return to home. It's going to climb up high. I think it's going to go to 100 meters. I'm, I'm not really sure about that. And it's going to circle around above me at a radius of 50 meters. And people keep asking, can you change the loiter radius and I don't think you can actually I think it's set at 50 meters and that is circling around me it hasn't gone up to 100 meters and it's it's a bit up and down with the return to home you really do have to have low throws for that to be safe. It was too much with the uh, ag wagon. No, that's doing weird things. Okay, I don't like the return to home feature. Oh, I'm still trying to climb higher, maybe. Anyway, get our return to home. It will bring it back to you anyway. Uh, just not too sure about the uh, loitering ability. Let's fly it out here quite a lot and then do a return to home long way away return to launch here it comes now it yeah it turns a little bit too aggressively i think needs to be smoothed down maybe i need to reduce those gains angle gains i'm guessing anyway 
there you go, that's what it does. Let's do some FPV. It's gliding down. And we've landed. So that's interesting. Very nice in stabilised mode, in yeah, very nice in gyro mode and stabilised mode. And the return home definitely works, but the circling is a little bit too aggressive. The bank angle is a bit too high. Nice view in the FPV. Uh, I think it's pretty well filtered. There's not a lot of interference. So we're in gyro mode now and it's just sort of very nicely stabilised. This is self level mode and that will just fly nicely around by itself. Yeah, so this is very good. Very nice for FPV. Let's try to return to home. Climbs. Comes back home. You can change the loiter speed. It's set at 50 at the moment. It's yeah, it's overdoing it. It's, it's sort of is it still trying to climb? I'm not too sure. Anyway, it does come home, works reasonably well, just not all that smooth. <laughs> Let's have a bit of fun. Whee. Whee. That's in uh, gyro off mode, so <laughs> no stabilisation, but that's cool. So I love the OSD. It's uh, better than the Copilot in that aspect. Equally easy to set up, way easier to set up than iNav uh, and a sort of a self-soldered board. Uh, there's no soldering apart from just setting up your cable to connect the video transmitter. bring it in anyway battery's getting a bit low around behind me so the video is breaking up a bit there we go oh very nice right behind me excellent so yeah very good uh, I may try turning down the angle gain maybe just to see if I can calm down the return to home uh, aggressiveness it's, it's good that it comes straight back home but yes yeah, just the uh, the loitering is a bit too aggressive, I think. Um, but yeah, not too bad at all. The Detrim Z3 FPV Autopilot from Dynam. Thanks for watching.